When it comes to fighting bad guys like Thanos, the heroes of the Marvel Cinematic Universe are all business. But behind the scenes, all sorts of weird stuff takes place, and not all of it is funny. Here's a look at some behind the scenes nonsense that happened on Marvel movie sets. Avengers Infinity War was a pretty heavy film to watch, so just imagine how emotionally taxing it was to make. So it's no wonder that the cast blew off some steam by filming a music video. Unfortunately though, Anthony Mackie told the crowd at MCM London Comic Con in 2017 that the results will never see the light of day. We shot half of it, and then people realized how bad they were at dancing and we couldn't get anyone else to dance. Mark Ruffalo dancing is a spectacle that everyone should behold once in their life. Once. You never want to see it twice. Mark Ruffalo with polka dots and a skin-tight suit on, dancing. Awful. Mackie's superhero codename is The Falcon, but maybe they should change it to Prank Machine, because he also told the London Comic Con crowd that he was constantly pranking Paul Rudd, in part because Tom Holland was too wily to fall for it. I would prank Paul Rudd every day of the week. It's so easy, man. He's an easy target. Tom Holland is always watching his six. He's always nervous. He knows something is going down. But Paul is just happy. He's like, la 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 la, so he's easy to get. One of the funniest moments in Infinity War comes during that tense first meeting between the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Where is Gamora? Yeah, I'll do you one better. Who's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? That last line wasn't in the script, though. It was actually improvised by star Dave Bautista during filming. And he wasn't the only one making big contributions, as Tom Holland ad-libbed the line, I don't want to go, during the unforgettable end to Infinity War. We didn't want you to go either, Spidey. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir. Please. Please, I don't want to go. Considering he played the lead role, you'd think that Tom Holland was the number one star on the set of Spider-Man Homecoming. But that didn't keep someone from pranking him as Holland posted an Instagram photo showing that his seat on set had been replaced with a customized toilet. He wrote, Loving my new set chair. Thanks, guys. Should you really be treating number one like number two? Hashtag no respect. One of the breakout stars of the smash blockbuster hit Captain Marvel was Reggie, the cat who played Goose. However, co-star Brie Larson told USA Today that she's actually highly allergic to cats. It was like the joke on set because I could do really crazy things stunt-wise, but the cat was a big obstacle for me. It's weird how you can train and get your body to do insane things, but allergies are kind of a hard stop. That's where your body's like, that's it. As a result, the production team had to resort to using a fake cat in some scenes. And when Larson was required to touch the cat in a scene, someone was on hand to immediately wipe down her hands afterwards. Talk about a weird job. Back in the dark days before Marvel regained the rights to Fantastic Four, the folks at Fox made three films with the family of heroes, and the second one nearly caused Jessica Alba to quit acting entirely. Why? Because director Tim Story wanted her to add some sex appeal to a crying scene. Yes, it sounds crazy, but Alba explained that Story informed her, It looks too real. It looks too painful. Can you be prettier when you cry? Cry pretty, Jessica. He was like, Don't do that thing with your face. Just make it flat. We can CGI the tears in. And I'm like, But there's no connection to a human being. She said it caused her to second-guess herself and her work. And so I just said, F*** it. I don't care about this business anymore. Remember that scene in Captain America Civil War where Cap keeps a helicopter from taking off? Well, two things. Those are actually Chris Evans's real muscles, and he actually hurt himself doing it. Co-star Robert Downey Jr. told People, I say, you know what? All the things he's done, that's the one that was going to injure him. They're saying flex and hold it. It wasn't the other 3,000 stunts. It was that. Luckily, Downey happened to have a pulse massager in his trailer and used it to massage Cap's arms back to health. Avengers Assemble! There's an old Hollywood adage that says never work with children or animals because they'll always steal the spotlight. Well, add saplings to the mix, because according to Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 director James Gunn, Chris Pratt was actually jealous of the incredibly cute baby Groot. Gunn told the press, We had a statue of little Groot. We just had this adorable little statue standing there, and we'd get in this scene and all this stuff would be going on, and the cast would be acting their butts off and really putting in their hearts and souls. All of a sudden, Chris Pratt would look over at baby Groot and go, Damn it, he's gonna steal the whole movie! Gunn added, I'd say, let's get a shot over here because I think Groot's going to be trying to get a bug while this scene is happening. And Pratt is like, really? Groot's going to be trying to get a bug while I'm crying about my father? Sorry, Chris, but Groot's gonna Groot. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.